Four reasons why our Infinity Aluminum Fence is better than the competition. Hey everyone, Jason from Iron Fence Shop. We understand that after a few minutes of shopping online, all the different aluminum fence options can get overwhelming and start to blend together. How can you tell the quality fences from the terrible ones? Price is not always the best indicator, nor are pretty online photos. So today I'm going to go over four specific things that make our Infinity Aluminum Fences better than the competition. The first item that makes our Infinity Aluminum Fence better than the competition is that we weld on cast aluminum finial tips at no extra cost. If you're not sure what a finial tip is, it's this decorative piece on top of the vertical pickets. This piece is solid cast aluminum and it's welded onto the fence and gate pickets standard. It's a small portion of the fence and gates, but it goes a long way in giving the fence a more regal and authentic appearance. Now, let's take a look at the two options you get from our competitors. The first option that you get with a vast majority of our competition is what's called a pinched or crimp tip picket. It looks like this piece here next to my welded on finial tip. It's named as such because they stick the end of a hollow picket in a machine that smashes the picket end together and then cuts it into the shape. It gives the fence a low quality appearance. It's an instant giveaway that it's an off the shelf price point fence. It doesn't evoke that authentic and historic look that most people buying a metal fence want. Why does everyone else build their fences with these pinch tips? Easy. It's cheaper and simpler than welding on an aluminum finial to every picket like we do. It's a simple way to cut corners and costs. The other thing you get with this pinch tip picket is a much thinner and pointier end. If you have small kids or dogs, these pinch tip pickets have a much smaller contact patch that pokes harder than the rounded top of our cast aluminum finials. The second option you'll get with our competitors is a press-on or glue-on finial tip like these. They'll be plastic or die cast. To add insult to injury, these cheap add-on pieces are almost always an upcharge over the standard panel price. Lots of time we see lower quality panels of these cheap add-on finials costing as much or more than our panels that are better quality with the true aluminum finials welded on. Now, while these little imposters get the job done visually from a distance, there's two major downsides to them. First is that easy on means easy off. If you've ever seen a fence that's missing half its finial tips, those are cheap add-on pieces that kids have pulled off or broke off once they realize they popped off. The second is that the cheap add-on finials are made of different materials and coated separately from the fence or gate. You often get them loose in a bag from our competitors to glue or press on yourself. The cheapy stick-on ones will look okay new, but in one to three years they can fade to a much different color than the fence panel rails and pickets. This is especially true of the plastic pieces that are not painted or powder coated. Once these cheap stick-on pieces begin to fade to a different color from the fence line, they really stick out like a sore thumb. Our welded on aluminum finial tips go through the same cleaning and powder coating with the panel or gate in one solid piece, so it's consistent coloring and the same finish. The second item that makes our Infinity Aluminum Fence better than the competition is beveled rails and routed post punches. Just like the finial tips, this is another place competitors can hide cost-cutting measures that aren't always readily apparent. The horizontal rails in those punches, or holes in the posts, are the backbone of your aluminum fence system's strength. Production shortcuts here will result in looser fitting panels and a weaker aluminum fence system. Let's start with the beveled rail construction I mentioned. Here I have my Infinity Aluminum, and over here, how most of the competition builds their fence. If we take a look at our competitor fence first, you'll see it has a very basic looking squared railing from the front and side profile. If you look at our Infinity Aluminum fence here, you can see our railing has this bevel or scallop to the rail here on the corner rail profile. Not only does that bevel rail look nicer, but it adds strength and more bend resiliency to the piece as well. Like the welded on finial tips, it's a small feature that goes a long way in making a more authentic looking and better performing fence. Now let's take a closer look at the routed post punches and why they matter. Here I have my Infinity Aluminum post punch, and over here we have how most of the competition punches their posts. As you can see, our Infinity Aluminum punch is shaped to the contour of the horizontal top, side, and bottom railing. On the competitor's fence here, you can see it's a much simpler square punch that takes out more material. The routed punch in our Infinity Aluminum post gives it a tighter fit between our rails and posts than the squared off punch the competition uses. It's a manufacturing shortcut that makes producing the posts easier. Why does that matter to you when it's a part of the fence you won't really see? The answer is nesting and stinging insects like wasps and yellow jackets. This can be tough to show on camera, but if you look at our Infinity Aluminum routed post punch here, when the fence panel goes in, there's no gap under the rail. It's a clean tight fit and I can't get my finger into the post. If we put the fence rail into our competitor's post and look underneath, You'll see that that big square punch leaves a gap under the rail that leaves it open access to the inside of the post. 
On this one, I can stick my finger under the rail and into the post. If you're unlucky enough to have wasps or yellow jackets find that gap under the rail, they will build nests inside there that can fill a large portion of the post. So now not only do you have a massive wasp or yellow jacket nest in your post, but getting bug spray under that rail in there to kill them can be really difficult. So not only do our routed aluminum post punches give a cleaner connection, but they also don't leave gaps underneath where stinging insects like wasps and yellow jackets can access the inside of the posts and build nests. The third item that makes our infinity aluminum fence better than the competition is we build both our pedestrian and driveway gates with U-frames standard. The U-frames we use around our gate go a long way in making a stronger and sag-proof gate. Unlike a fence panel that remains stationary and doesn't have a lot of force put on it, gates see all sorts of leverage forces. Even when hanging closed, the gate is being held by the hinges on one side with more force being exerted on the frame. When you open the gate, you also have the opening motion, as well as any force being put on the gate transferred to the entire piece as well. Throw in slipping and grabbing the gate, putting a ton of force on it, or kids hopping on the end of it for a ride, and the strength of that gate frame becomes very important. Let's go grab a few pieces from the shop to show visually why that U-frame matters. Here we have what you get standard from most fence and gate makers. We call this an open frame gate. The frame consists only of a single piece right and left, and the only thing joining the two frame pieces are the horizontal rails. So on this gate, if you only have two horizontal rails, that means you only have four small welds holding that gate and frame together. Not a whole lot of support. That's why this type of gate construction can sag over time. Now, if we look at my infinity aluminum gate here, you can see the 2x2 U-frame that comes down each side and continues across the bottom. The name comes from the U-shape those three pieces form. Not only do you have this welded in frame reinforcement across the bottom, but you also have all of your pickets welded to the frame itself. So unlike that open frame gate being held together by four total welds, our infinity aluminum U-frame gate here is being held together by nine picket welds at the bottom frame, four top horizontal rail welds, plus the strength of that frame going across the bottom and up each side that is also fully welded. That's much more solid than the open frame gate and why our infinity aluminum gates will never sag. That's important on any gate, but imagine how much more rigidity that's going to build into a much wider driveway gate leaf. That could be upward of 30 welds plus that U-frame reinforcing the gate versus four wimpy welds on the competitor's open frame driveway gate. Building all of our gates with a proper U-frame is why we don't have to use any low quality construction shortcuts on our gates like wheels or cross bracing. The fourth and final item that makes our infinity aluminum fence better than the competition is our customer service. I know, I know, stop cringing out there and don't close that video window. I know every company says they have the best customer service. No one's gonna say, our customer service is terrible, so give us a call and buy our products. We feel we have the best customer service because we have truly knowledgeable salespeople and we wanna work through your project in detail with you. It's probably to our detriment that we don't have a shopping cart on the website. However, having one is a recipe for disaster with materials like this. These projects can be complicated and most folks aren't fencing gate experts. Why not have someone knowledgeable help you through the process? We don't want our customers getting frustrated as they keep having to order and return items they realize they didn't need or did need to begin with. Not to mention spending ungodly amounts of money on additional shipping. We want to work with you one-on-one -on -one to make sure what we are shipping you is exactly what you need. Instead of working with some hourly clerk that's reading out of a catalog, you're working with a salesperson that has a minimum experience of 10 years in our group here. Many of them have direct installation experience. Heck, chances are good that if you call or email in, you'll be working one-on-one -on -one with me. Now, it's not uncommon for us to spend long phone calls answering questions and to work through several iterations of the quote throughout the planning process. We want to ask you questions and work through the project with you so we can get a feel for exactly what you need. We'll request a layout sketch from you so we aren't going off assumptions. With that, we'll work up an itemized quote for you and often give you some notes on it as well. We've worked through solutions on layout issues, eliminating waste, and even offering opinions on options that'll work best. That's where an experienced sales staff with real-world skills comes in handy. We feel pretty confident you aren't going to get that level of detail and time that we offer to our customers from our competitors. So there's four reasons why we think our Infinity Aluminum is better than what you get from our competitors. Be sure to check us out here at ironfenceshop.com. Want some more information on the different types of aluminum fence posts? Check out this video we did. If you have any other questions, you can shoot us an email at sales at ironfenceshop.com or give us a call at 800-261-2729. We look forward to hearing from you.